Nathan Lamy, Urban Boxing Studios. Today we're going to talk about a subject that um, really excites me in boxing and it's rhythm and how important rhythm, understanding rhythm, finding your own rhythm and being able to break your opponent's rhythm is if you're going to be a competent boxer. Um, it's a very difficult, quite a complex subject, but I'm going to try my best to explain it as simply as I can. Okay, so what is the definition of rhythm? The definition of rhythm is a regular beat or sound, okay? Now, if you've ever been in a nightclub or a bar and you're dancing and you're loving the music, you're feeling the night, you're having a great night, and then somebody comes and stands next to you in front of you and they're dancing and it sounds like they're listening to their own tunes, not the tunes that are being played in the music. It puts you off your beat and your rhythm and, and you just end up standing there because you don't want to dance anymore. Okay, now that's a simple example of how we can use rhythm in boxing to disrupt our opponent. Every boxer wants to be able to fight in their own rhythm because they feel they can time um, their punches better, they feel that they're in control of a fight. So we're going to talk about how we can use um, different types of footwork, different types of movement to disrupt our opponent's rhythm and try and control the fight and manipulate how we want the fight to go. Okay, so before we understand rhythm or our own rhythm, we have to have a, um, be able to play with, play with it ourselves and understand the different styles and types of, of, of boxing rhythm. Um, for example, Mike Tyson was very bobby in a pendulum style of, of movement. Um, Crawford is very loose and rhythmic and times things lovely uh, uh, and in a, a nice fluid type of rhythm. Uh, Fury is very twitchy, constantly playing with your rhythm and breaking your rhythm. Um, very interestingly, Anthony Joshua has gone from a very static European style to now adding uh, a little bit of flow into his style and adding rhythm into his boxing style. So, before you um, start playing with rhythm, have a look at different boxing styles and see um, and have a play with it and, and, and feel where you're comfortable and where your rhythm sits. Um, boxing is very similar to, to music, it has four, four beats in a bar. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Footwork. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we can play with um, our rhythm by changing the BPM of our movement. Okay? So if we were to take um, boxing um, and look at different styles of music, drum and bass, very high tempo, uh, 160, 180 BPM. Um, garage music might be around 120 to 140 BPM. So uh, hip hop, 120 BPM. Okay, now we can take the four beats in the bar and change the tempo of our movement at four beats in the bar to be able to disrupt our opponent's rhythm. Okay, the first drill that I want you to work on at home is a stutter step. So we're going to use a stutter step to um, double up our, the, our beat, okay? So if we're moving in our stance, in our guard, moving with our opponent, all I want you to do when you're moving, play with your movement and add in a stutter step and then back onto your rhythm. Whatever your rhythm is, Good, add that in. The reason why we want to add in a stutter step, because that sharp movement forward is going to make our opponent do uh, one of three things. Take a defensive step backwards. Number two, freeze. Oh, he's in my space and I don't like him being in my space. Number three, attack and clash, okay? So we want to play with that movement, looking for our opponent's reaction and using that to figure out, well, the first time I do it, he freezes, 
Well, now I'm in range, I can strike and get back out of range again. The second thing I want you to introduce into your shadow boxing or bag work is using fakes to, to break your rhythm. So if your rhythm's very fluid and it's got a regular pattern, we can use fakes to break that rhythm of your opponent whilst we're moving, okay? Using our hands, using our rear hand, To break our opponent's rhythm. Faking is incredibly important. Look at fighters like Tyson Fury, twitching, always moving, keeping you out of your own natural rhythm and fighting in his rhythm. The final thing I want you to play with is your punching rhythm because that can also uh, disrupt, disrupt your opponent. So you might be finding yourself in a rhythm where you pop a jab at pop a single jab out. Your opponent might get comfortable with you popping a single jab out. You then might decide you're going to step on your jab and double it up. You might drift on your jab and double it up. But there's a change in rhythm to your punching. One, 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 two, one, 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 two, three, one, two, one. One, one, two, one. Play with your hands, play with the timing of your punches, slow it down, speed it up, make yourself unpredictable. Make it harder for your opponent to read what you're going to do. At the outset, we spoke about what the definition of rhythm, and rhythm is a repetitive beat or sound, okay? So, it's really important that when we're playing with these things, we incorporate all of the different attributes of rhythm and breaking rhythm. Because if we only stick to one, that makes us repetitive, that makes us readable, and that makes our rhythm readable. So you have to make sure that when we're playing with this stuff, we're playing with height changes, we're playing with stutter steps, we're playing with push-pull movements. But as long as that stays in our own um, BPM and it stays where we're comfortable in our, mo our own movement we will be able or you will be able to control fights better but it's really really important that you play with all of the different aspects faking, um, movement with your feet, changes in height um, all of these things are incredibly important so incorporate them into your, your workout let us know if it's had any improvement in your sparring um, Look forward to hearing your comments.